Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a logical circuit in free software called diagrams.net. It's really good and powerful open source software. It's also web-based, so you don't need to install anything. Just head to diagrams.net and press start over here. I already signed up with my Google Drive as the storage, but you can use also different cloud storage or even your current device. So let's go with the site later. That's also an option here. All right, here's the blank page. As default, we got some shapes on the left, core tools at the top and the inspector panel for styles on the right. In our case, we are going to draw a logical circuit. I just changed my page size to A4 because that's what I'm going to use later on to print it out. And now it's time to add more shapes. So click plus more shapes because we need to add a group of shapes for logic gates. So scroll down over here, all the way down. And then we got electrical group with logic gates inside. So simply click this checkbox on and then click apply. As you can see on the left side, now we got more groups. That's a great thing about this program. We can also add or remove groups of shapes. Depends what kind of diagrams we are working on. So I got my logic gates on now. I can simply start by tapping twice, click, click, and this is like quick menu when I can select a text tool. And now I can type my logical statement. All right, let's come up with something simple. All right, I'm using built-in text tool, just typing in my logical statement. Of course, we can modify the style of the text. As you may notice on the right side, we got some kind of inspector tool when you can decide colors, style, font, size, all of that stuff is on the right side of the screen. So we can style our text, make it nice, make it bigger, make it larger. All right, that's our statement, but our goal is to draw a diagram for it. So let's start. On the left, we got Y, that's our output. So it will be on the right side of the diagram. At the end, I double tap and type Y. I want to put my output and inputs on the screen first so I can see them. All right, so how about inputs? We got A, we got B, we got C. So let's type it in. A, double tap, text tool. That would be B, and in similar way, we just create C as well. So I got all letters in, so I got all of my inputs and outputs in the diagram, you can say. Now, how about logic gates? How many? We got OR, NOT, AND, so three logic gates. So I will just drag and drop them all without connecting them yet just drag and drop so we can see them take a look this is inventor that's the not gate little circle here that's important detail to pay attention to all right and the last one is or so now i got all of the inputs and outputs all of the gates everything's here all elements are here now our task is to connect them correctly so as you can see in our statement we got not b that's why I'm connecting gate not to my input B. Just drag and drop the line like that. We actually don't need the arrowhead in this kind of diagram. So click on the line itself and in the style panel, we can switch off the arrowhead. All right. None. Cool. We can also make the line ticker two points here as well. All right, much easier to read. So we got our NOT gate join with input B. That's correct. What else? We got A or NOT B. So let's drag OR gate over here. 
On one side, we will need to connect A, so I just hold my mouse and drag the line from it. Another side, I connecting node B. That's simple enough. And take a look. When I move my gate, even after I draw lines already, the lines will try to follow the gate. So that's the advantage of using the actual diagramming software. So the lines are sticky, they stick to the object, so it's really easy to make some changes and modifications because the lines will follow. Alright, we got the top part almost ready. And then next gate will be end, so we got disconnected to the end from the top and then the end is connected to our output so that's the last one now we need to take care of the bottom part of this diagram there is C connected to the final gate end all right we can move it down a little bit and that's the whole diagram actually we got three logic gates three input one output all here connected correctly normally you don't need to let's say color coded your diagrams for logical statements but I will add some colors so we can see which element from the statement is in the diagram all right as you can see I have added some colors to our diagram so the same color from the statement refer to the same color in the diagram so as you can see this is this a or not b in blue here and then at the bottom we got and c so all of the elements from the statements are here in the diagram if this is your very first diagram you can also try to color it out to understand this better all right so here's my diagram and as you can guess, there's one more element we need. Every logical circuit diagram will need a true table so we can simulate all of the inputs. In my case, I got three inputs that will result with eight different combinations. So the table tool is here at the top and it's very similar to any other table tool that you used before, like in Microsoft Word or Google Docs so we can decide how big the table should be by hovering our mouse here don't forget about the header they need they need to be a one extra row for the header and then just by clicking you will create a table and of course the style panel can be used to change colors thickness of the line fill color of the cell etc all right, our task is to run all of the possible options here through our true table. So we will know when the gate, when this circuit combination of gates will give us a true or false. All right. And again, all of the editing options for the style are available. So we can change the font, color and size. Some true tables can be really big, so be careful with the placement. If you move it all the way to the right, take a look, almost run out of space, but if you move it like outside the page, take a look, the program will automatically add a new page. That's a really cool feature, but you must keep in mind if you left it right here in the center, like you got this new page in the middle, it will be really weird when you print it out. The half of your true table will be on the another page. So try to avoid placing your true tables on the page connections like that. All right. So pay attention to that. Don't place your true table in the middle of the page connection. So, all right, let's export this to PDF. So file export PDF. That's very universal format for printing and for sending this digitally to other people as well. I can select my device as the storage. And in a few moments, you should get this PDF here. Take a look, a very nice, a clean diagram, very professional diagram in 
minutes using totally free software directly in your web browser without installation. I hope this tutorial was useful and if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!